Hey guys, Shalom Aleichem. So happy to find this uh, precious, super precious time to speak with you from the heart. It's not easy. Don't think that, uh, you know, business people who own stores that has businesses, it's not easy for them to open their stores and to 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 sell their products, to advertise, to sell. Think about a person like me that has his spiritual um, merchant needs to send it across the sea to share it with the souls that are also themselves struggling with so many difficulties and challenges to receive this wonderful message. Not only an evil inclination is trapping and trying to stop the seller, also on the buyers there is a great, great uh, war on each and every one of them to be able to grab and grasp some of the wisdom that Hashem is sending to us, through us, for the great benefit of the souls of, uh, of the truth seekers. Thank you so much for doing the best that you can and being those beautiful, wonderful, precious people you are. Let's keep on trying to do the best we can to spread the light. Now let's talk about the light. The light is the light of truth, the light of goodness. The light of goodness is the light of our maker. It's the real light of Hashem. Hashem, the name, is the way we call our God, our maker. The one that we believe in his godly, eternal goodness. Now he himself made for himself a place within our hearts. He done something so beautiful that he sent himself and minimized himself in such a great way that is impossible for people, for human beings to understand, to grasp and realize. But he really took all his greatness, his being, his, his godliness that is endless and constricted and minimized it into our bodies, into our minds, into our souls for us to be a channel of infinity of eternity when we are able to connect from within to the ancient archives to the highest places of them all and to be one with him even though our awareness is trapped in this body now when we are attaching our awareness to our physicality and it's a very huge and hard struggle not to do so then we're physical but when we break those chains and we are connecting ourselves to the inner light of our souls, then we become endless again and our minds are working freely and our ability to pull and to withdraw and to bring illuminations and epiphanies and prophecy even from the heaven from the heavens is is easy it becomes an option it becomes possible now people are doubting themselves because of their past experiences and spiritual failures that they assume that they interpret properly but in reality they were just misinterpreting their great success because when you try to put a seed in the ground the first step of the first step in the process of growth of that seed is that the seed will be rotten in the ground and if you're going to try to dig it out after three four days you're just going to find some disgusting slimy piece of memory of what it once used to be a seed but you won't find any seed over there after three days and only after it's being rotten then it starts to grow and in a similar way when we try to come closer to the creator and to reveal the inner power that is treasured within our bodies that is the light of our souls the first process the first step of our progress is to feel like we're being rotten, like we're going down, like we're melting, like we're failing, like we're falling. 
and in worst ways, in most horrible ways, and we're losing it because of that, and we're losing our trust in Hashem, and we're losing our trust in, in ourselves, and our faith in ourselves, and our self-esteem is crashing over and over, because every time you try to make a step, you find yourself, first of all, falling. I'm going to learn. You're not going to learn. I'm going to pray. I'm not going to pray. You, I'm going to do this. I'm not, you're not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to guard my eyes. I'm going to be holy. I'm going to be righteous. I'm going to keep my thoughts. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to trust Hashem. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to, I'm going to create. I'm going to spend time with myself. I'm going to, I'm going to speak. I'm going to talk. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to meditate. No, you won't. 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 And what will you? Gonna fall, gonna fail, gonna be rotten, gonna break, gonna crash, gonna 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 be destroyed, gonna be humiliated. And it's only because that you are seeding. Just you need to give yourself some credit and to give the process of growth some time. And it happens. With time, great light is shining. And you should believe in yourselves because when you seed spiritual seeds, they are very hard to track. It's very hard to see them and recognize them in life. But a friend, a student of mine that I'm learning with, with him once in a while, he told me that every time after I'm explaining to him something in depth, in the next day or next few days, he's finding himself learning even things that he learned before in the past and suddenly he's able to understand them in deeper ways, in ways that are based on the new teachings. And before, when he tried to learn those same things, he was not able to grasp it in the same way. But now, after he saw a certain light and he understood some great understanding, now he is able to learn things that he learned before in deeper ways, in deeper aspects. So, spirituality is something that is given to our minds. It's something that is given to our heart to sense and to feel. And without high self-esteem, and faith in yourself, it's almost impossible to grasp and understand your success and your tremendous growth. Count on yourself and keep on climbing and rising and shining and blooming and succeeding and shining the light of your soul to the whole wide world. And may the light be so beautiful, so successful, so great and will shine in such amazing way that there will be no place to doubt it and to question it anymore. And the success will be eternal and endless and beautiful and healing and soothing and relaxing. And that we will not lack a thing, all of us together. That godliness will shine within us, from us, outside to our loved ones. That everyone will enjoy the light. Amen. May it be His will. Amen. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!